Hi, this is Tanya Nickerson, Cornell Cooperative Extension of Wyoming County's Voice of Extension. Today we're here with Joan Petson. Joan is the Ag Department Program Leader here at the Wyoming County Cornell Cooperative Extension. How are you today, Joan? I'm doing fine. How are you, Tanya? I'm great. Well, June is one of my favorite months of the year, uh, not just because the weather's getting nice, but also because it's a month we get to celebrate the dairy industry, which is so important to Wyoming County. So Joan's going to talk to us a little bit about how important the dairy industry is here in Wyoming County and about celebrating Dairy Month. Joan, why don't you start by telling us how important dairy farming is to Wyoming County? Dairying is a critical economic engine here in Wyoming County. It provides employment and it's a huge multiplier because the revenues that come to dairies are turned around in the local economy several times. I think another important thing to note is just how much milk our dairies produce here in Wyoming County. They produce over 128 million gallons of milk each year. And to kind of get that in perspective, that's enough milk to provide the milk for 5,400,000 people. Or let's look at that another way. If We've just provided enough milk for our Wyoming County residents. How long would a, would a year's milk supply last? It would last, the amount of milk we produce in our county would last our residents for 129 years. Just if they, if they drank the typical amount of milk that a person in the United States drinks, which is about 23 gallons of milk each year. Wow. So how many, you talked about how much milk we produce, but how many dairies are there here in Wyoming County? There are about 180 dairies here in Wyoming County, the last time we counted at the 2007 Agricultural Census. And how many cows do these farms have on them? There's about 47,970 cows uh, on our dairies here in Wyoming County. That's milking cows. And there's probably one replacement heifer uh, on those farms for each cow. So nearly 100,000 cows on the dairy farms here in Wyoming County. And one of my favorite things to tell people who aren't from the area or don't know much about Wyoming County is that we actually have more cows here than people. So how many people do we have in the county? A little over 41,000 people here in the county. So more dairy cows than people. That's an amazing statistic that I like to throw out to a lot of different people. Uh, You talked a little bit before about the multiplier factor, the fact that our local farms help the community, but how exactly... Um, do they impact the local community, impact all the citizens of Wyoming County? Well, one of the things I I really treasure about Wyoming County is our rural character and the fact that we have a working landscape. Uh, And it's the dairy farms in this county that provide the background of that working landscape. They're growing crops, they're pasturing livestock, and and that's part of what keeps the, the community looking the way it does. Another really important factor that a lot of people don't think about is each year our dairy farms support local communities by paying property tax, uh, and that supports both our town and county governments as well as our local schools. And lastly, employment. Dairy farms are a big employer here in Wyoming County, not just the farms, but also many of the support industries that surround them. Do you know exactly how many people have jobs on dairy farms here in Wyoming County? Don't have a good number on that, but I do know that about 1 in 10 jobs in Wyoming County are on dairies. Uh, And the support industries, I think it's important to recognize that those are good jobs. Many people think farm work, well, that's really hard work. But farm work pays generally better than minimum wage. And then our support industry people and our middle managers on dairy farms are, are making comparable incomes to professionals in other fields. Growing up, I always said that where I went to school over at Pioneer, everyone either lived on a farm or wished they did. Do you think that that's still a uh, trend that we have going on? How many, are a lot of people still living on farms here in Wyoming County? There are a lot of people living on farms in Wyoming County. In fact, we have over 700 farms altogether here in Wyoming County, including, you know, crop farms, people who grow produce, small beef and livestock farms. And so there's a lot of people in the county who do live on farms, and there's an awful lot more who work with farms. Many people here in our county are also employed by farms, and so they may not live actually on a farm, but they work on a farm, and their family relies on on the dairy industry in one way or another uh, for revenue. And driving here from from Arcade to Warsaw every day, it seems like I see a f- some empty barns, some of the older style of barns that I love a lot. Is Are those barns really empty? Are we shifting to a different kind of farming? What's going on with that? 
Well, our industry is always changing. Uh, the dairy community is continuing to change. And I think one of the things that's really important to notice is that probably 20 years ago, we were the dairy farms were pretty homogeneous. They were pretty similar. All the farms were alike. And now we have a wide range of different types of dairy farms. And we at Cooperative Extension work with a number of people on all different kinds of dairies. We have large commercial dairies that have 1,000 or 2,000 cows in one facility. Uh, and all of the industrial agriculture that goes with that, as well as uh, using the latest and greatest in technology that's available worldwide. Uh, we also have grass-based dairies, which is kind of progressive in a different manner where we're going back to the kind of land base uh, that they have on the farm and deciding that that land base is best suited for growing grass. And so they're grazing their herd and really being a low input, low cost producer without a lot of added inputs and, and relying on grass as a, as a major source of feed for their cows at least for six months out of the year. And then they're producing hay uh, and probably feeding hay and silage and maybe even working with another farm to help grow uh, some of their crops for them. And lastly, one of the things that maybe is somewhat invisible here in the county is the number of organic dairies that we have. We have quite a few uh, organic dairies here in the county that are meeting the national organic standards uh, and producing milk for the organic consumer who wants an organic product. So we've got a real diversity of dairy farms, more so than we probably had a number of years ago. And yes, some of those barns are sitting empty, but there's you know new construction happening in the industry all the time. Uh, and so we are a changing industry and probably will continue to, do, to change. It seems like no matter uh, large, small, middle, organic, inorganic, all farms have a place here in Wyoming County, and something I think is a common theme with all our farms is that they take care of the land and they do a good job being good stewards. Can you talk a little bit about what exactly the farms in our area are doing to preserve the land and preserve the natural resources? That's something that our farms are very, very conscious of. Farmers are kind of probably the first conservationists. Uh, they really work hard to, to manage the land and take care of the land. I think it's important to recognize that for farmers, the land wouldn't continue to be productive if they did not take good care of it. And so they do a, a lot of different things. They participate in programs like growing cover crops to make sure that we don't have soil erosion through the winter if, so that land is kept with a vegetative crop on it. That also takes up nutrients that were spread in either the form of fertilizer or manure and preserves them for future crops rather than having them run off into our streams and, and rivers. So they, that helps to protect the water quality of the region. I like to think about our farms as huge recycling centers because one of the things that, that, our, that our farms do is that one of the key inputs that they buy, the dairies buy, is feed. Uh, and they buy about 30 to 40 percent of what cows eat is in the form of grains that are mostly purchased by farmers in this county. And so those grains add to the nutrient base and we're even starting to see cooperative agreements uh, between some of our crop farms and some of our dairies where the, the dairies are providing manure to crop farmers to help them be able to use a, a more natural fertilizer and really take care of the land in that way. So there's a lot of things that we're doing to, to protect the land uh, that our farm community does. That's very great. I know that there are a lot of programs and a lot of projects going on to protect the land, and I definitely feel safe living here in Wyoming County with all the responsible dairy farmers that we have. So how about current events? How does this wet year impact the dairies? I know it has to impact the crop farmers. Being a gardener, I know it's really impacting my gardening, but how is this impacting the dairies? Well, our dairies are, are very much facing similar challenges to everyone else with this wet year. Uh, one of the things that has happened this spring is that we had a cool, damp spring, and so things were growing very, very slowly uh, as far as the hay crops uh, early on. And then once we started to get some warm weather and things started to dry out a little bit and farmers were at a point where they could start to work the land, we had kind of three things going on all at the same time on farms. One, they were able to get out and spread that manure to grow their next corn crop that they hadn't been able to do. Usually they can get that done in late March and early April. Folks are still just kind of spread manure as they can before they plant cornfields. And it's almost unheard of to be still planting corn at this date in mid, mid to late June. Typically corn is pretty well planted here by the, by the middle of May or late May. Uh, and so middle to late May is usually when they start their haying. And so what we've seen over the last few weeks as farmers are spreading manure, harvesting hay, and trying to plant corn all at, the, all at the same time. And so people have been working some very long hours uh, to get the job done. And I think safety is a critical factor that uh, 
is of concern to our farm community this year with with working long hours that this that this weather condition has forced yes and uh, as a note to everyone who's out there driving on the roads like joan said there are a lot of things going on in our farm community a lot of our farmers getting out with trucks and tractors and we just hope that you respect them on the road and i'm sure they'll respect you and just be safe while you're out there so joan how should our listeners celebrate dairy month what should they get out and do to celebrate the great dairy industry we have here well one of the key things i think is is make sure that you include some milk in your diet every day uh milk cheese yogurt have a bowl of ice cream. That's, I think, one of the things that I, th- I, I think of. My celebration for June is Dairy Month is a nice big bowl of chocolate ice cream with some, with some whipped cream on top so that I can have a, have a great uh, ice cream sundae for, for Dairy Month. And what is your favorite dairy product? Oh, ice cream, hands down. Mine is definitely ice cream, too, with yogurt as a close second. Well, thank you very much for being here with me today, Joan. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to have joined you today. And again, this is Tanya Nickerson for the Cornell Cooperative Extension of Wyoming County's Voice of Extension. If you would like more information about Cornell Cooperative Extension of Wyoming County, you can contact our website. The best way to do that is to Google Cornell Cooperative Extension of Wyoming County and we're the first search result. Or you can call our office at 786-2251. Thank you. I hope you all have a great time celebrating Dairy Month. I know that I'm going to eat ice cream as much as I possibly can.